Statistical process control is a powerful method to monitor processes ensuring that they meet specifications and are carried out with maximum efficiency. In industrial applications, a common challenge is that different product categories are produced in sequence, which have to fulfill different specifications. In this video I will demonstrate how statistical process control can be realized with Power BI in online regime allowing to consider different specifications for distinct product categories. We start with the installation of SPC extension for Power BI. To do so please click on Get More Visuals button on Visualizations panel. Choose Get More Visuals option from the menu which opens Power BI Marketplace. As next go to the search function and type SPC. Here please look for SPC Visual from Next Gen Industries. Click on the visual and open the site with the description of the extension. Please click the Add button to include the visual to your library. Now the visual is appended to your visualizations panel. Now we import an Excel file with data example allowing us to simulate the online scenario. As we can see, the Excel file contains two tables. The first one is the data table which includes the parameter we want to analyze and the category column. This defines the product category for each data point. The second table contains the control and specification limits for each category. Now we import this tables into our Power BI report. As next we create the SPC visual and specify parameters according to our needs. In the current configuration the different categories are mixed in the same graph. From statistical perspective this falsify the analysis of the parameter as samples of different distributions are mixed in the same data set. To illustrate this we add a bar chart and visualize the different categories. Now we can select the categories from the bar chart and analyze the parameter for each category separately. As we can see, each category comes from a different distribution. As next we want to set up control and specification limits in a way that they correspond to the according category. But first we adapt info panel to show the necessary details. We enable the control limits info element and category element. Additionally, we adapt the font size for info panel, making it fit to the size of the visual. Now we define the category measure that allows us to automatically filter the data according to the category of the last data point. As we can see, now only data of category A is shown in the graph. The category A correspond to the last point in our data. To demonstrate this, we switch to our Excel file and add an additional data point with category B.
Now we save our Excel file and trigger data refresh in Power BI. Here we can see that now data of category B is shown in the graph including the new data point we have just added. As next we switch into model view in order to connect data table with the specification table. To do so we drag the category column from specification table to category column of data table. Important is we need to set option cross filter direction to both. Now we can set up limits based of our spec table. Here we need to adapt the right aggregation function, which is required for data mapping. As next we need to adapt the limit setup so that the limit values are taken from the specification table. Now we add a table visual to show the limits values which will allow us to compare these values with the values used within SPC Visual. As we can see the limit values for category B are the same as applied within SPC Visual. To proof this functionality, we switch again to our Excel file and add a new value of category C. Now we save our Excel file and trigger data refresh in Power BI. As we can see, the SPC visual now displays data of the category C and applies corresponding limits. Now I will show you an useful option, which allow us to propagate the filtered category as selection for other visuals. To do so we switch into format panel of SPC visual and enable this option within online SPC section. As we can see now the data of category C is automatically selected within other visuals. Now we switch again to our Excel file and prove the behavior by adding a new value. Here we see that after he data refresh, category and selection for other visuals is updated automatically.
Now I will show you another useful function. In online scenarios, it is common for the values to only be available once the process has been completed. But, it is useful to see the historical data for the current process, which allows to analyze trends and to take countermeasures in advance. To handle this problem, we just add a placeholder value for the current process. Now we are able to see the historical data for the current category. But the placeholder value falsifies our chart and statistics. To avoid this, we need to enable the ignore last value option within the format panel of SPC Visual. Now the last placeholder value is ignored, so that charts and statistics are showing correct values. In our example we used Excel file as data source for demonstration reasons. Now we will switch to a database where data is generated automatically and continuously. Here we create a SQL database connection. Important is to activate direct query option. This will enable us to configure automatic data refresh in Power BI. SQL database contains the same tables as we used in our Excel example. Finally, we need to adapt the connection between data table and specification table in order to create the same configuration as we had before. Now we have the same setup, but using a real database in which new data is automatically generated every 10 seconds. As next we will configure automatic data refresh. To do so we switch to the format panel and enable page refresh option. Now data is updated automatically every 10 seconds. As we see each update leads to recalculation of the SPC chart considering the current category which is adapted automatically depending on the last value in the data set. Finally, I will present another useful option. This option enable us to reduce the visible data range to last data points, which are more relevant for the current process. To do so we switch to the General Settings panel and enable Show Last Endpoints option. Now we see only the last 50 points, which allow us to focus to the relevant trends. As we could see in this example, the SPC extension for Power BI enables the process monitoring in online regime taking into account different categories and corresponding specifications.